In a multiple page letter to the chairman of the House Ethics Committee, a state lawmaker asking that panel to send along an ethics complaint against Governor Nikki Haley to the state attorney general's office. Representative Joan Brady, who was a member of that panel, saying the committee simply cannot handle an issue of this scope. We need to put it in a venue that has access to criminal investigators, criminal attorneys. At issue here, a complaint against Governor Nikki Haley that claims she illegally lobbied while she was a House lawmaker. In a two-page letter to House Ethics Committee Chair Roland Smith, Representative Joan Brady argues a complaint that started as a lawsuit dismissed by the courts has become too complex for the ethics panel. I think the perception of the public is why is the legislative branch investigating the executive branch? That's why we have the judicial branch. Earlier this month, the House Ethics Committee cleared Haley of all charges in the case. Two weeks later, though, they requested more employment documents tied to her fundraising work with engineering firm Wilbur Smith and Lexington Medical Center. Last week, Haley produced sworn affidavits in the case, but ethics watchdogs still aren't satisfied. It's long past the time when this matter should be brought to a determination as to whether she was a lobbyist or whether she was not. The tone of the ethics probe has become increasingly more political in the last few weeks. Democratic lawmaker James Smith pushed a resolution that prompted the request for more information. I'm governor now, whether people like it or not. Also, last week, the governor accusing House Speaker Bobby Harrell of meddling in the case, something the Low Country Republican staunchly denies. When asked Friday about handing the case to the Attorney General to eliminate political influence, Haley shot down the notion. The right side is the legal side, which said, they dismissed it. They were comfortable with dismissing it. They saw no information. If it goes to the AG, then it totally shows it's been political all along. A Haley spokesman saying Tuesday there is absolutely zero merit to the claims against the governor. But those pushing for the attorney general to take over say it's the only way to handle the first case ever opened up to public scrutiny by the House Ethics Committee. We need to be sure that the perception from the public is that this is being handled completely, it's being handled thoroughly. Representative Joan Brady could make her case to the House Ethics Committee as early as Wednesday afternoon. That's the next time that panel's scheduled to meet. At the Statehouse, Brian McConkie, Watch Fox News.